adventure. I'm taking on another plane. <laughs> arrived in Italy and it's already a ton warmer than the UK. Yes, we had to get up at four to get here. I'm so excited. We're now going to meet my mum's friend in Italy and we're going to get some good sun. If you're around here, my name is Hannah Martin. This is my holiday vlog. So once we arrived, our friends picked us up from the airport and drove us back and we got to visit their shop, which was absolutely incredible. I could not believe my eyes with the amount of pasta that was there, the different shapes, the different sizes. I was in my dream world. And then we went for a little bit of an explore around these kind of more villagey areas near Turin. The streets were so beautiful and cute and so Italian, I just couldn't believe my eyes. It was like living in a fairy tale world and we did get gelato because what is the first thing you do in Italy? You get ice cream and it was so hot. It was literally melting as we were trying to eat it, but that's that's the only way to eat ice cream in Italy. You've got to, you've got to keep up with the heat. Um, then we visited this beautiful lake, which was near where our friends lived. So we're here by the beautiful lake and it's so warm. It's, they say it's 40 degrees in the sun at the moment so it's very very hot and we had gelato and now but I'm a bit a bit stiff from the play. <laughs> I haven't forgotten how to do ballet yet. I think for a majority of this first day I was just trying to relax into the holiday mode um, last season at the ballet company was super intense and sometimes coming away from that can be quite difficult even though all you want is a break but when you finally get a break you feel like you should be working it's quite a weird complex uh, let me know if you can relate to this the first day was just trying to kind of get out of work mode and enjoy all the beautiful sights and surroundings um, I think before this trip I was actually quite anxious about not working which sounds crazy and bizarre but I think it may be a complex that quite a few dancers have of taking time off is not always that easy um, because we do love what we do um, but there's also that kind of fear that if we're not doing it all the time that we're going to lose the skill and the level that we've worked so hard to achieve um, but in this vlog I kind of wanted to talk about how taking time off can actually help you improve and increase your love for what you do so for me the goal on this holiday was just to try and enjoy these small moments just like having these beautiful meals in the evening with our friends <laughs> hi guys it's been our first day here in italy and it's been an amazing one i've had a bit of toothache as i do <laughs> every time you can literally watch a vlog this time exactly last year and i was saying the same thing it's just something about the wind down from work life but i'm just super grateful for this time and for renata who's led us into her beautiful home and is showing us around everywhere. Tomorrow we go to Turin and I'm actually going to take company class with one of the companies here in Italy so that'll be really fun to do a bit of ballet and move a bit. I'm not gonna lie like I sometimes struggle with holidays because I'm not moving the same amount as normal. I'm more stressed because uh, I have worked so hard to get to a certain level and then I'm nervous I'm gonna lose it by not training is hard for a few days let me know down below if you have the same thing but sometimes i really struggle to let go and allow myself just to enjoy the moment and not think about how i need to stretch or i need to train um that's still a thought even though i'm on holiday we spent the rest of the evening kind of looking at old photos of when i was here last time in italy when i was like eight years old it was so cute and it was lovely reflecting back on memories we had to get up bright and early for the next day and i got ready did some stretching because i hadn't stretched since i kind of got back from the plane and i was on this beautiful like rooftop terrace i don't know if that's what you would call it 
but it was such a nice view. We had to do it early in the morning because it would get way too hot um, later in the day. Porridge making in progress. They don't have porridge here. We were trying to describe porridge. Italians don't eat porridge. I can't, I couldn't believe it. So I'm bringing it to Italy. But we're doing it with slightly different ingredients. So we've got green grapes and we've got cherries. Tomorrow I might try the peaches because the peaches were really nice last night. And the melon. The melon. The melon is the best melon I've ever tasted in my entire existence. So it makes a breakfast and then we're off to Bowfoss. It was so nice to be able to make my breakfast with all the amazing fruit in Italy. The fruit tasted incredible. And then we went into Turin. I got to take class with this beautiful company and I really enjoyed it. It was so nice to move my body and do it from a place of such joy. I've done ballet class for the day. Nothing like a holiday. Let's go. I was super grateful to experience that class. It was so different to what I'm used to. So it was just so nice to see how different places do it and how ballet is celebrated all across the world and it's a universal language. So that was a really beautiful experience to have. After this, we went and had some pizza because if you're in Italy, you have to have pizza. And I was so excited about the fact that they brought like bread to the table without even asking. First pizza in Italy. Should we, I do anything to Go for it, no, 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 you sit. Had our pizza, now we're just kind of looking around to win. After pizza, we were fueled and ready to go for a little bit of shopping around Turin. And I even did a little bit more dancing in the square. It was pretty hot again on this day. We were reaching figures of about 40 degrees. So we were careful how much we were out in the sun. Even though it doesn't look sunny, it was still absolutely boiling hot. Um, but always nice to dance in these iconic places. I have to say on this particular day, after my ballet class, I wasn't necessarily feeling like dancing, but mom was like, come on, you'll, you'll appreciate it once you have it. And she's always right. So lesson learned, listen to your mum. Uh, then we walked around all the shops and I actually got myself a bikini. I wouldn't say I'm generally a huge shopper, but Italy changed me. <laughs> the shops were so beautiful and everything I saw I wanted to buy, so um, I had to have some self-control, but it was my holiday, so I had saved up a little bit of money to uh, enjoy. So apparently this is where the king and queen used to live, when there was a king and queen here. so we're back from turin we did some nice shopping there and then we went for a little walk very hot it's like 40 degrees or something just relaxing a bit before dinner it's been another incredible day here in italy loving each minute tomorrow we leave for milan we have to get up at half five i feel like that's like in most of my vlogs i'm waking up at half five for something or other wimbledon this vlog 4 a.m this morning was a sleep in, 7.15. Oh, I know, shocker. Still managed to have time for porridge though. Always got time for porridge. The fruit here is next level. I'm gonna miss it so much. I mean, we still got two more days, but. 6 a.m. and we're going off to Milan today, so we have to get the train. But the sky is so beautiful at this time of the morning. I'm a little bit tired. This is worth it. <laughs> Only just, I did get her running already. It's only six in the morning. I'm just about the dad, always gets me running. You're the one who had the coffee actually, that made us late. So it was a couple of hours on the train to get to Milan, but when we got there, the train station was actually huge. So we we're just kind of taking it all in before heading into the center. And we stopped off at a little cafe for some breakfast. My mum had a coffee and a pastry and I shared the pastry with her. So we've arrived in Milan and we went for a quick toilet break. A little Nutella pastry. Ooh, for sure. Then mum's got her coffee. Her latte. And apparently in Italy, 
They don't do lattes that often. It's not such a big thing. Whereas in the UK, we have a lot of lattes. Italy, a lot of the coffee is very strong and small. Espresso, right? Yes. It's not good for me because I like a lot of coffee and sugar to water it down. Teatro di Scala. <laughs> this was definitely one of the most interesting places that we visited when I was in Italy. One of the most inspiring for me, especially since I am a ballet dancer. Seeing the theatre and the magnificence of it really inspired me. I don't know if you can see my face, I was totally in wonder of the beauty and magnificence of this theatre and it's definitely somewhere that I aspire one day to perform. The stage was absolutely massive and all the boxes, what was interesting is unlike the Royal Opera House, they had lots of little boxes where people would sit and watch the ballet, whereas in the Opera House you have many, many seats in like tiered sections. So I thought that was an interesting difference. We went around the museum, which I highly recommend going if you are gonna be in Italy. Um, the museum is a really interesting little excursion. It's not huge, but it's definitely worth visiting. And then we went through this kind of shopping mall, but it was very grand. Uh, so we took lots of photos, of course, because whenever you see anything pretty, you don't look at it, you take a photo. Anyway, <laughs> walking through all these very posh shops, you had Prada, you had Dior, and Louis Vuitton, before you landed at the famous cathedral. I want to say it's the Drumo, but I cannot pronounce it. So for the Italians down below, you can tell me how to pronounce this amazing landmark because it was really stunning and beautiful. By this point, it got very hot, but you know what we do every single time we see something beautiful. I always want to dance in front of it. So here's a little dancey moment for you all. about to go in but we forgot that we have to cover our shoulders and our legs so we had to buy these coverings um, excited to see inside so you heard it any of you keen travelers out there who want to go visit this cathedral make sure that whatever you're wearing you're covering your shoulders and your knees because otherwise you will have to buy these coverings which they charge you for um, we did have to wait uh, a little while to get the tickets to get in and then once you've got the tickets you have to queue again to get in. So make sure that you come at a decent time um, where you're not going to have to be queuing too long. I think we queued for almost 45 minutes to an hour um, to get in but obviously it was worth it to see all the beautiful stained glass windows. There was a stained glass window with like all the stories from the Old Testament and then one with the New Testament which I think was super super cool to witness. I said I'm moving on I could feel it chapter closing down the very moment I could So I've just walked my up and down the canals for an hour in like 40 degree heat because I couldn't choose where I wanted to eat. This is why you should plan where you're gonna eat before you go. I'm gonna get poke bowls in the middle of Milan. It's so hot and I want like some salad. Another place that we almost ate at over there and the salads looked unreal but it wasn't really like the vibe. That was 
such a good meal. Really, really yummy, healthy. 10 out of 10. But today's video is all about visiting the Delano Milano shop, which is one of the most, I want to say, bougie leotard brands in the world. Let's go! So after we had that delicious food, we headed to the leotard shop in Milan, which was absolutely incredible. And I made a whole video of this experience because to be honest, it felt like a bit once in a lifetime for me. It's one of my favorite brands and the chances of actually getting to go and visit their boutique was absolutely incredible. And I worked with a stylist to pick out some leotards for me to take back to the UK. And this whole day was just perfect. I enjoyed every single second. Um, so here's a few clips from that video, but if you want to watch the full thing, it is on my channel So make sure you check it out after you finish watching this vlog Strength and pain to wash away the hurt Days and wait longer than you want to Think it's coming into focus how I can picture life without you now Funny how with Bella in and out of So after spending a little bit too long in the leotard shop, I actually realised that we were running late to get back, so... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you're like your dad. You can let dad watch. There was two of us in this. There was two of us in this. There was two of us in this, not just me. Almost back. Okay, I've been alright all day, but I'm struggling. What's that there? Oh. This. Guys, you have to watch my vlog of buying from the Delano, Milano shop. I am obsessed. I hope you like the leotards that I decided on. I can't wait to get home, have a shower and try them on again. After our absolute crazy day in Milan, we actually had an Italian barbecue with Renata and some of her friends and family and it was so fun. Um, I think me and mum were both a little bit tired so we didn't have the hugest appetite but the conversation was good the next day i woke up and of course had my porridge because i had time to make it on this particular morning and then we went out on the beautiful terrace again rooftop terrace and filmed a few clips for instagram in the new outfits i actually wanted to do a full ballet bar but it was way too hot by this point i'd got up a bit later i just had a bit of a lazier morning because each morning had been so early that I just wanted to have a little taste of a more relaxing holiday for a second. Um, but it was amazing to take these clips of the mum on the lovely rooftop. After a little lie down, we went for some lunch at this cute little restaurant and the things we ordered, Renata ordered it all actually, and it was like fried pizza dough and you put it with like some ham and cheese and this is the most amazing discovery I found in Italy. They were so delicious and then we had these like little panini almost things, but I have to tell you that fried pizza dough topped it off for me. I'd never tried anything like it. Um, and then we went for a little swim in the pool. Oh, 
We've been here for a while now. We were at the pool. Mum didn't mum didn't go in the pool. I did a floor bar which was absolutely amazing. We have all these beautiful mountains in the background. Also wearing my new bikini which I bought at Turin. Turin. Enjoying my time here a lot. I can't get over the views. Look. So amazing. And as we were leaving the next day, I had to have some more gelato before I left. So we stopped off and got some gelato at this cute little place where you could literally see the mountains. And it was, it hit the spot. It was absolutely delicious. Uh, we got back, rested for a little bit, and then went to an Italian restaurant for dinner. I had told myself I definitely wanted to have one pizza and one pasta while I was here in Italy. I had to try them both, so I got pasta on this particular evening. So the next day I had an espresso to start my day to be a true Italian and we headed off quite early to the airport. I was very sad to leave but so happy for all the experiences and memories I made. I'm so glad that I decided to take the time off. The next day I was back in the studio but even though it was a little bit hard at first it was so worth taking the time off to have those experiences to have those opportunities to live and to grow and to be inspired so i encourage you if you are a dancer and you're wondering whether it's time to take a little bit of time for yourself this summer don't be afraid of it embrace it enjoy it and you'll come back feeling refreshed and revived guys i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to dream big and make it happen <laughs>